Hello YouTube and welcome back to my FIFA 16 Hull City career mode. And we start episode 7 here with Robert Snodgrass whipping it in and Makani heading it into the back of the net. A good start to this episode and it's 1-0 to Hull at the Riverside. Um, good ball in by Robert Snodgrass and a really good header by Mbakani to make it 1-0 to Hull City. And you can see I'm making a substitute here with Hughes coming on. Once again, like I say, he he's poor for me. Then Snodgrass is able to whip this corner and we get Mbakani's on the end of it and heads it in to make it 2-0. His second headed goal and a second assist for Snodgrass on the day. So... A 2-0 lead now, and a really good header by Mbakani. Headers are usually difficult on... Well, corners are usually difficult on FIFA 16, but we made one work there. Anyway, you can see they're passing it about the back to try and get out. And they come down this right-hand side. And Stuart Downing has it, and Barragan gives it off. Adama Traore whips it into the box. Victor Fisher heads it, but it's almost cleared. They get it back into the middle. First shot saved. The head is into... Oh no, the head is missed. I thought it went in. <laughs> oh well. Either way, it was offside, so it wouldn't have counted if it did go in, but they had a good chance there. Anyway, you can see some good passing here. They do get through, and Negredo does find the back of the net this time, and he is onside to make it Middlesbrough 1, Hull City 2. And they have one back, but that was how this game finished, and a good 2-1 win away at the Riverside. And you can see we get into the second game of this episode, which is at home to Liverpool. We play the ball down the right-hand side. Iorfa whips it in. Will Keane heads it across. Sean Maloney controls it and puts it into the back of the net. Really good play as I offer, I offer put it towards the back post. Wilkin heads it back and Sean Maloney, good touchdown and a really good finish past the goalkeeper. Anyway, you can see they're passing it about the back now in this second half. M. Klein gets through down the right-hand side, makes the run. Um, crosses, no, he beats our man, pulls it back to Wijnaldum, who volleys it past the goalkeeper, and it's 1-1, and I was disappointed with that goal, a poor slide challenge, and the keeper, I don't think, did well enough there, and that was how that game finished, a 1-1 draw. Anyway, you can see we get into the next game, which is at home to West Ham, we get a free kick from Ryan Mason, who puts it into the back of the net, a really good free kick here in the snow for the first time and I think the only time this season actually but a um, really good goal from Ryan Mason he doesn't even have that good of free kick accuracy I just chose the best one, like free kick accuracy for a right footed player because I thought the way that where the keeper was standing it was better for a right footer and it worked to put us 1-0 in the lead so then you can see we try and get forward again. Rodriguez is tackled. And they can just play it down the right-hand side. Um, Andy Carroll gives it towards Lanzini, but it's through for the keeper to pick it up. Then you can see Hernandez picks it up, gives it to J. Rodriguez. He comes down this right-hand side, cuts inside, makes a good run of it, gets through on goal, and hits the post. But that was how that game finished. It's the only goal coming in the first half. Anyway, you can see Tottenham. We've come up against Tottenham in this game. They pass it down to Eriksen. He beats his man, beats another, gives it to Wanyama. And a really easy goal for Tottenham. Very poor defending once again by our players. As Eriksen is allowed to just take his pick of what to do. Give it to Wanyama, who can just put it into the back of the net. So then you can see Wanyama has another shot straight at the goalkeeper and we can try and throw it out but the throw is past the player. Mason goes in for challenge and is sent off for a very poor tackle. 25 minutes gone, we're 1-0 down and down to 10 men. It was very poor tackle but 
it was all because I was frustrated with the throw out by the goalkeeper anyway you can see we try and get forward here as Keane gives it to Snodgrass he runs it down the right hand side um, he's battling with Vertonghen he cuts in onto his left foot and is brought down for a penalty and Mbakani steps up he had a very poor game and his penalty saved as well he was very poor in this game and I was considering not playing him again oh and what's happened here well you can see that the full time score in this game was 2-0 ah the Mendy goal that's why it's pulled back to Mendy who puts it up for himself and volleys it into the back of the net to put Leicester City 1-0 ahead in the fourth game of this episode a good finish for them and disappointing for us then you can see the we're into the actual game here. Amardi with a spectacular goal to make it 2 0. And obviously, as you've already seen, that is the final goal of this game to make it 2 0 to Leicester City. And obviously, that is how this game finishes. Like, oh, it's a really good finish, but our player was beaten too easily there and can't get in the way then. Oh, oh my god, I've just realized what I've done here. Because you're going to see the Mendy goal again. I'm pretty sure. Oh, man. I probably missed out a good highlight. <laughs> well, that's a big mistake for me. Anyway, you can see that's how that um, game finishes. And the Mendy goal you can see twice now. Um, as usual, we will finish the game with a squad... The episode with a squad report and making so many mistakes today. But if you've enjoyed it, please do leave a like. And if you want to see any more of this career mode or anything I do on FIFA 17, do subscribe. And once again, thanks for watching. See you later.